Up first on my list, I have the Bottega Veneta Endiamo Small Leather Toe. Now, this bag is actually stunning. It comes in the signature Inchichato leather. This is in like a light green, but they also have it in like a dark green. They've got it in black, dark brown, tan. So, so many different colours. I've seen this on the likes of Kylie Jenner, Hailey Bieber. I think even, I don't know if it was Jaden Smith or... Justin Bieber also had this bag, so you know it goes for all sexes. I feel like this is a really cool piece, and it's also just the right size that you can fit like your laptop in. And I feel like if you're going to work day to day, maybe corporate office kind of vibe, this bag would suit very well. It's kind of simple, no logos, kind of goes with that clean girl, old money aesthetic kind of vibe, giving you Sophia Richie kind of energy. So I actually do love this bag. I love how it comes in so many different colors. And it also has a strap in the middle, and it has a long, like a crossbody strap. Personally, you know, I'm a handheld kind of girl, so it would be handheld for me. But I do like the size, and I do like how it's kind of simple, no logos. Simple but effective, but does the job. Like, it's kind of a bag that, if you know, you know. Do you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, yeah, I'm really into this bag. That's why it made the list. If you're new to this channel, my name is Devin. I make videos on fashion, vlogs, and unboxings, and everything in between. So please consider subscribing. Without further ado, let's get back into the video. So up next on my list is the Hermes Picaton. Now, I'm not a massive fan of this bag, but I've put it on this list just because, like, a lot of people are getting it. I mean, if you can get your hands on it. Obviously, as we know, Hermes always have a crazy waiting list to get bags, particularly Birkins, Kelly's, Constance. And I think you also have to wait to get a Picaton. Like, out of the chain of bags, this is technically the lowest one that you would have to wait for within the four sets of bags, if you know what I'm saying. I'm not dying for this bag. Like, even if I had the money to buy this one, I still wouldn't be buying it just because it's not really my vibe. But I do see how a lot of people are working it into their wardrobe, taking it from day to night. I feel like it's more of like a holiday bag for me. I can just see it on like a vacation, somewhere sunny. But a lot of people are getting this bag. I do see the pull. It just isn't really for me. Like, the style of it doesn't hit me particularly but it is a cute bag and a lot of people are rocking it so i feel like it could work now up next is the prada crochet tote and i've seen this a lot of places i've seen it more than i thought i would and it's actually really expensive for what it is technically a lot of people are doing this as dupes as well which is fine i think that's why i'm seeing even more of them but they've come in so many different colors they've got it in the white they've got it in a purple black They've got it in like a signature, like a creamy colour. I think they've got it in a brown, so they have so many different colours in this. Do you know what's in my head? One of the Prada shows they did, I think they gave these away as gifts. So I like, in my head, I'm like, if they're giving it away free as gifts, why would I want to spend, you know, six, seven hundred pounds for it? Not that I got gifted it, but do you know what I'm saying? In my head, I'm like, if they can just give this bag away so easily, why would I want to pay seven hundred pounds for it? That's what's in my head, but... Hey ho. I feel like this is obviously a bag that you would use for, for vacation. A lot of people I've seen are actually using it day to day as well, which I do think works. I feel like if I went for, with this bag, I would personally go for maybe a pop of colour because I think it's like that fun kind of bag that you can do that with. But I do like this bag. Is it worth the money for me personally? Maybe not, but I do like it. Up next, we have the Lady Dior Dijoy. I actually like this bag. It obviously is the Lady Dior bag but shrunk and they've made it into like a rectangle kind of shape. I actually do think this works and it makes it a little bit more cooler and fresh for me personally. The Lady Dior is giving you kind of, younger people do buy it, but it's kind of giving you like slightly old lady kind of vibe. Do you know what I'm saying? But I feel like this is shrunk, just makes it a little bit more fresh and a little bit more on the spectrum of people who would be buying the bag, I feel like it's widened. Like the Lady Dior, people who would buy that, is kind of smaller, but now this is opened up to like a bigger pool of people. So I do like that aspect. They've also got this in a few different colors. I really like the mint that I've seen, like a light mint. Obviously black would go with everything, so I feel like that would be the color that I went for. Would I put this bag on my wish list? Not quite, only because this price point for this is quite high. So therefore I'm like, if I was gonna spend my money on this, I would obviously get the Birkin, do you know what I'm saying? But when it gets to that point when I've hopefully got my Birkin, then maybe it would be on my list, but for now, no, but I do like the bag and a lot of people are rocking it and it does work. Up next, we had this half moon bag from The Row. I actually really like this bag. No logos, very simple but effective, kind of giving you that old money clean aesthetic again. People who wear The Row, are the kind of people who 
I would normally say have money and don't really shout about it. That's the kind of vibe that they're going for with this. Some of their stuff, well, all of their stuff is very basic, but it's made well and it's kind of, if you know, you know again. Like there's no logos, no crazy hardware in this. There is a tiny logo on the bottom of the bag that says the row, but it's not in like metal or like a silver or do you know what I mean? It's not in any hardware. It's just like written in tiny at the bottom. I actually love this bag. I feel like it could go well day to night. I feel like it can work for a lot of people. I've seen it on Kendall Jenner. I've seen it on Zoe Kravis. A lot of people do have this bag. And if you know the Olsen twins, I actually love the Austin twins, like I think they're fab and they really do stick to their aesthetic, whether that's shoes, whether that's trousers, whether that's jackets, whether that's bags, like this bag could work for a lot of people. And I actually, would I put this on my list? I think I actually will because the price point for this bag isn't actually too bad and this is the kind of bag that is very timeless. Like I feel like it's not really going to go out of fashion, like you always need a little black bag. Do you know what I'm saying? So it could work. So the next bag on my list, I actually wasn't going to post because it's on my wish list and it's at the top and I know they haven't got heaps of stock so I wanted to get the bag before I put this video out but by the time this comes out, I mean I might already have it or nearly got it so who cares. This is the Bottega Veneta wallace bag in the small i love this bag it's all black i only saw this two months ago and i've been obsessed ever since i watched a, like an instagram and a tiktok about it and i loved it it's kind of simple with the inchichato leather with the gold zipper it's got a black strap going across the top the strap on the top is actually adjustable actually i'll insert some footage of me wearing it i popped into selfages just to see what it looked like in real life and i actually loved it so i'll insert a picture or two of me with the bag it's a really good size that you can carry it very well day to night i reckon because it's all black they also have it in like this light i don't know if you would call it mint a very light let's just say it's a light green and they also have it in a tan which is also beautiful i just love this bag i feel like it's the timeless piece that you could put in your wardrobe and the bottega veneta jody is on my wish list but in this kind of like a crystally metallic kind of bauble kind of bag i'll insert a picture but this bag is kind of a mix between the bottega veneta jody and the Loewe puzzle bag and the fendi wash bag that i tried to get but i left it too late and didn't get it Let's not talk about it before I burst into tears. So this bag is very cute. I'm into it. I'm obsessed. It's on my wish list. I've got a birthday coming up soon. So hopefully I'm going to get it for my birthday. And yeah, I'm obsessed. Up next, we have the Mulberry and the Axel Arigato collab bag. This is actually beautiful. They've got it in this beautiful, rich green colour. They also got it in a black. And they also have it in like a blue colour, I think, if I'm not wrong. Love this bag, stunning. I feel like this bag will go very well on a lot of people's wardrobes. It goes well day to night, obviously depending on what colour you get. I personally have this bag on my wish list again, but originally I want a black, but if I do get the Bottega, then I probably won't get another black bag for right now. So I would love to get it in this green colour because it actually is stunning. And I feel like the shape is good, like it can fit more stuff in it than like a phone and wallet, a little bit more. And I like the strap, I like the shoulder strap, it's handheld, so I feel like this is really cool. I like the gold hardware, I like it how it's a collab of Mulberry and Axel Avogato because I feel like when's that going to happen again? And the price point isn't too bad with this and obviously it's like a collector's piece, a limited edition. So I feel like this could be a really cute, a really cool bag for people and I've not seen tons of people with it which is nice I've seen a few the pictures I've seen on Instagram and stuff and social media have been really cute and really giving so I'm into it so up next we have Jack and Moose I'm not 100% certain what this bag is called but I'll type it down below love this bag I just saw a content creator I think it's Cassie Thorpe she did like an unboxing of it she got it in like this metallic the metallic is stunning with this like a gold clasp going across the top it's got like a ball on one side and like a square on the other it's kind of like a when you go to like a food, like a fast food place, like a McDonald's, and you get that bag and, it's, and you roll it up and put it on your shoulder, it's giving you that kind of vibe. But I do love it. I like it in this white colour too. I think this bag, it's not sold out, but they dropped some straight away when the fashion show came out. And then the rest of the stock doesn't come out till later on in the year. So I'm not actually sure if this bag is even available right now because I was even trying to find pictures of it and stuff on websites and there wasn't much pictures coming up. I think they've dropped a small part of their stock and then the rest of it is coming out later in the year. But if you want to add it to your list now or speak to an SA, get ahead of that because this bag is actually really cute. I feel like I do like the silver. The silver is a really nice pop, but I also like the white. But white bags for me scream vacation. So I don't feel like 
I personally would get much use out of it, but people are rocking it and it looks really cute. So get into it. So up next, we have the YSL Le 5A7 Small Leather Shoulder Bag. I hope I said that correctly. I actually really like this bag. Like it's kind of reminded me of the Hermes Picaton, but I actually like this one way more. Like if I was going to pick between them, I would actually pick this one. I think it's just a little bit more cooler and a little bit more low key. I like the little gold, um, gold YSL logo in the middle. I feel like that's really nice. In your face, but not too much. This is in like a dark plum. I know they have it in a black and they also have it in like a taupe, I think they have. So yeah, a really nice addition. This is kind of giving me slightly vacation vibes, but I feel like if you got it in like a black, it could work very well in the daytime. So there's that. So up next, we have the Goyard tote bag in the small. Love this bag. I'm seeing this all over social media. And this bag is actually quite hard to get because Goyard don't sell really online. They've only got stores. London, I think they've got two in London, one in New York and one in Paris. I might be wrong on that Paris one. It might be somewhere else. But I actually love this bag. Price point is, you know, quite hefty for this bag. They've released like a selection of limited edition colours like on the inside and on the out, like a different kind of colorway. I will insert some footage if I can find some, but yeah, I really love this bag. I feel like this bag will go very well at day to night. I just love the size, you know, I like anything small. If you get a big bag and shrink it, chances are I will be obsessed with it. And I'm actually really into this. I like how it comes in so many different colors. I mean, if you can get it, and it also has like a little pouch inside that you can store maybe like your cards and like house keys, things that you want to keep safe and secure inside which i feel like is a really nice twist and it also turns inside out so you know two for one now up next we have this valentino bag i'm just going to type it down below because i don't want to butcher the name in the small love this bag in the crystals i walked into where was i in amsterdam and i went into their retail store there and i saw this and i literally was like oh my god me want it i'm dying for it stunning i've actually seen this quite a bit on social media but i haven't seen it in real life and it is beautiful these crystals on this eat they had it in the white crystals. They also got it in like a pink and a purple. Stunning. I love this bag. It's beautiful. I like it. I was just blinged out. Like this is giving new money. Loud shouting, but I love it. I gag because I feel like you could just wear a nice, simple outfit. Me personally, maybe if it was in like an all cream suit with my 80s shoes and then this pop, giving. Or if you like a nice little black slinky dress maybe from like the row, and then you've got your Manolo Blonix. Oh, if you had your Manolos in like a crystal, or your Amina Moadis in the crystal and had this bag, it's over, it's over. Guys, thanks for watching my Hot Bags Spring Summer 2023. Please comment down below and let me know if there's any bags that I've missed off that you think I should add to my list, or if any bags that you think that, you know, were a hit and you think that I should not talk about again. Please like and subscribe, and I will hopefully catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.